The casting process for dogs was very interesting. Uh, I sat down with the, the animal trainer and we went through a whole catalog of breeds. Uh, what was important to me is A, we have to make them all look different in size as well as color so that the look of each dog was kind of suggested what their character should be and do. It was a lot of fun, especially if you love dogs, and, and it really was like casting humans. Um, we had, you know, these casting sessions literally where our trainers showed up with different dogs and we mixed and matched. We wanted a dog that would connect caught things, a dog that chewed things, a dog that was like a big lug, and you know, we looked at a lot of dogs. We kept looking for dogs with personality. I have like a cute little long-haired chihuahua at home, so I'm just used to having little dogs, and they have like these big, I forget what they're called. They're kind of, they're not Great Danes, but they're as big as Great Danes, and they're these big dogs. Then there's like little tiny little um, kind of terriers, and there's just all different kinds of dogs that are really cute. Well, to me, in the movie, the dogs are as interesting and as complex as the humans, actually. They all have their likes and dislikes and all have pretty defined personalities. Friday is kind of a Chaplin-esque personality that when you knock him down, he gets back up right away and keeps going. He's a little bit of a rascal. He loves food more than anything else in the world. And um, he's played by actually three different dogs. Each of our lead characters, uh, dog characters, has a team that make up the lead character, uh, much in the way an actor has a stunt double or a photo double. Our dogs have these doubles. This is Cosmo. He's playing the part of Friday. And what I'm training him to do is he's got a scene in the movie where he has to pretend he's digging in the trash can. So I'm just trying to teach him to walk into the trash can, keep his back legs here, and just forage around like he's trying to find food. And then we have JR, who is, for lack of a better word, the rear end. Um, <laughs> anytime the dog is working away from us, we use JR. And then we have little Fizzy, who is just running A to B, um, especially in the big pack scene. Our two dogs that live at the hotel, uh, when we originally find it, are Linny and Georgia. Linny is a Mastiff, Old English Mastiff. Georgia is a little Boston Terrier. And Linny is played by two dogs, Oswald and Gracie. And don't tell anybody that Gracie's not a boy. But Georgia is played by three little dogs, uh, Nip, Tuck, and Nubbins. They're great little dogs. I was actually a little worried about them at the beginning because they were a little skittish. Uh, but they've all come around. They're all great. Come on, come on, get it, get it, pick it up, pick it up, get it, get it, pick it up, get it, pick it up, get it, good, 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 go on. What we did is as we were defining the script and the action and, and the contraptions we were building in the script, we gave that information to the trainers and we did, we built mock-ups of these kind of devices so that the, the trainers could actually train the dogs specifically for the action that's called for in the movie. When we first start training a, a green dog or a new dog, the first four weeks is just the basics. Sit, lie down, on your feet, stay, and hit it mark. After four weeks, you start doing some of the other things like a retrieve, um, a, you know, a wave, some of those other things. Probably the hardest thing that we do is eye lines. Having the dog looking in the right direction at the right time. And then we tilt up to Lenny. Lenny then looks to a mark for the It's all about the cookie. <laughs> You know, it's interesting though, because the treat absolutely helps you in your training, absolutely helps you keep their attention when you're on set and there's so many distractions. But you almost find that after a while that a dog is more happy to get your approval and the pat on the head. Just trying to keep Shep loves to uh, shepherd and order, you know, people around, uh, circling them, which Incidentally, it brings Andy and, and Dave closer together. Shep is played by three Border Collies, Ryder, Logan, and Homer. Then we have our favorite two dog characters, are Romeo and Juliet. We meet Romeo, and he is the most unlikely Romeo in the world. He's a Chinese crested, and as ugly as he is, he is the cutest dog you've ever seen. And he spies this poodle that the kids have rescued. 
and they name her Juliet because when she cleans up, she's this beautiful white poodle, and he becomes enamored with her. And then we have Cooper. Cooper's problem is that he likes to chew on anything. Anything. Cooper is played by two bulldogs, Susie and Buster. And what you see with Buster is what you get. When I heard about what they wanted his character to be, I knew he'd be perfect before we even showed him because he's so destructive anyway. I loved Cooper the English Bulldog. I would hold him and he would just almost devour my face with, with, with you know, licking it and kissing it. And, uh, you know, he's just such a funny character. He huffs and pants and wheezes. The dogs wouldn't always do everything right away, but they, they got it really quickly. We never really had an, an issue where a dog wouldn't do what we wanted it to do. And sometimes they surprise us. There were a lot of happy accidents on the set where suddenly a dog would do something really cute and you know we'd keep it in the movie.